25 yards. This is the Swing Caddy SC4. So this is an update, upgrade, from the, uh, the original Swing Caddy SC300, which was very lovely when it came out. Then they upgraded that and went the SC300i, which is nearly identical to shape and size as the previous model. But now they've gone to the SC4. I mean, it's a little bit larger than the previous model. Roughly as thick or thin and just kind of goes a little more vertical than horizontal. We got the kick out stand. That's beautiful. In the case, you've got this guy, which really just helps you set it up so you know where to aim it. It's got a little line on the top here, and you just set it up here and line it up. So then you know how to align it perfectly to where you're going. So what we're gonna do is put SC4 to the test against TrackMan, which I have here in the studio, and we're gonna test the numbers that this gives us versus the exact same numbers that TrackMan gives us. And then we're gonna take it outdoors, and I'm gonna show you what this should really, truly be used for. What's great is this connects with your My Swing Caddy app. So just go to the App Store, connect, practice, Boom. It's that simple. It just knows. I love these. Love technology. Wedge here. We're good to go. Okay, we had 103 yards on swing caddy. This has 97. So we're close. Uh, six yards difference. Total distance is a bit different. That has 99. This says 116. Not necessarily very accurate swing speed on the SC4, 74 miles an hour, whereas club speed here is um, 70. Ball speed's almost identical, 81.3, 81.8 there. And spin on SC4 would be 86, 88, 88, 86. So very, very accurate spin rating. Ninety-four point one versus eighty-eight point six. Bit off, a little bit. Spin eight thousand eleven. Ninety-nine, one thirteen. We're close, but not you know about nine hundred spin difference. Let's move to a longer iron. In my opinion, the wedges were typically the most off between the you know indoor launch monitors and track man. I mean, the wedges typically are gonna be the most difficult for this to pick up because it's going so high so quick. Here we go. Everybody's set to a seven iron. We're all good. 156 yards. Okay, 156 on the SC4. Carry distance, 152 track man. The numbers I really truly care about would be carry distance and spin, is the spin accurate? Trackman said this, that was a 5,800 spin. Swing Caddy, 7470. What should your spin be with the seven iron? Well, seven iron's a good club to practice. Uh, spin rate testing with because it should be right around 7,000. So a little low here, and that says it's a little high. One sixty, one fifty-five carry. Now Trackman on this one is estimating I had fifty-nine hundred spin. This SC four says seven thousand. Give it one more inside. Yardage are going to be a little different here. One sixty-two on SC four, one fifty-six carry. There and seventy-three hundred spin here. 6,200 spin there, and I picked that one up pretty good. So let's hit a couple drivers and see where we're at with that. Two, 
258 carry on SC4, 240 carry on Trackman, club speed 100, club speed 100. It's got the swing speed. They've always been good with that. Swing speed's great. 258, 240, 272. Total distance is pretty accurate or similar. Spin is 2288, 2341. It's close. Okay, so indoors, SC4 is pretty good, meaning it's consistent. So it's not giving me some wacky numbers here and there, which is great. So as long as I know consistently what it's doing, I like that. Now let's put this to the real test because this is what you should be using these for more than even indoor practice. This is all that matters when you're on the golf course. So we're out here, I'm gonna set it up and see how accurate it is in reality. Lasers, range, everything, here we go. All right, so that says it went 269 carry. That's pretty good. Swing speed 101, probably pretty accurate. 2811 spin. It did go kind of high right. 123 feet in the air. That's probably about right. It kind of hit a high cutter. 151 ball speed. That's about where I typically am. I'll go to the ball, where it carried shoot the other direction and see it for real. Good news, found my ball right here. So we know it didn't roll. So I'm gonna stand right on it and shoot the T marker, my trusty range finder. What did it say, 269? I'm showing 257, so it's close. It's about 12 yards off. All right, here we go. Now we have from here to the flag is and this is where it really comes in handy because we want to know the distance to the flag stick, 175, going out of some rough. So I want to know, like, how accurate is this thing, you know, in all scenarios? Because we need to know how far do you carry it out of the rough? So we'll be able to tell with our divot how far do we carry this thing if I hit the green. 165 yards. Found it. Pretty bad. Actually, I think uh, it was pretty accurate. It just went a lot more sideways yardage than forward yardage. So, 62 left. Let's see what she comes up with. 39 yards. It said I hit it 39 yards. That's really good considering I had a 62 yard shot. But I'm short. So let's just say 40. I got 20 yards left. It's right on the money. 20 yards left. 62, 52, 42, it's 40. Bounce forward two feet. It's right on the money. All right, now I'm gonna go less than driver. See if we can pick up, let's say, uh, three wood. 51 yards. So when you see pros out there with their launch monitor with them, they're using anywhere from a twelve to twenty-five thousand dollar launch monitor, five forty-nine. And when they're out there on the course, they're really looking at carry distance for what club they hit and spin rate. That's what the pros are looking at. They want to know, hey. How did I spin my eight iron? Did it spin too much? Did it spin too little? Like, you can kind of get a good idea, you know, how they hit it. They, but they know how they hit it. For us, we want to know carry distance because that, for the average player, is going to be the thing that's going to cost you or save you the most amount of shots. If you think you hit your eight iron 160, well, and you only carry it 150 and it rolls 10 yards. Okay, you hit it 160, but you might think you carry it 160 and then when there's water or bunker or stuff, 
you're gonna cause, it's gonna cost you some trouble. Another thing you might wanna know is how far do you hit your three wood off the tee box versus off the fairway? Or how far do you hit a ball that has a little mud on it? Or slightly in the rough? Or slightly below your feet or above your feet? All these little things you wanna know exactly how far do I carry that ball? Here we're in the fairway. Got a little bit of mud on our ball. Ball slightly on a down slope from left to right. And I have 124 to the pin. So I'm gonna use the pitching wedge. And I wanna be, the pin's in the front. So I wanna go a little beyond that. Ideally, I don't wanna come up short. So pitching wedge goes, that's my 130, 135 club. So I gotta take a little off of it. But all in all, I, th I think it should be good. Well, we'll find out, hopefully. And it said I hit it 251, 253. I might have rolled a couple yards, so 251 carry. Spot on there, three wood. yards. Okay. Based on these numbers, I should be pretty long. 25. Okay, so I'm pacing it off to see how far past the hole I went. I went three yards past the hole, it's 15 feet. So the yardage was considerably different than what it gave me. But to be fair, on that hole, there was a bit of a headwind into us. So it's just gonna pick it up. It's not gonna get the full flight of the ball, it's just the first you know, little bit, and then it's picking up ball speed and all that stuff. Swing speed, ball speed, and doing the math. Without the win, it could have been pretty accurate, but I do want to know. I want to get a little more accuracy on that, so. 184 yards. 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 89 is where my ball is. It probably hopped. A yard, so 87. So three yards? Three yards difference, that's not bad. So this thing has um, what they call a target mode on it. So I've got like 32 yards right now. So I'm gonna go in target mode and I'm gonna select really like um, 20 yards. Eh, let's go 20, let's go 30 yards. See if we can't. Um, how accurate it'll get. I've got 32 here. Twenty-one yards. One, two, three, five, eight, eight, nineteen. Nineteen. All right, it's like two yards. That's pretty good. A couple yards is pretty good. There's definitely one thing I don't like. Okay. It's, I don't like where the buttons are in the back, these guys. Every time I grab it, I hit one. And it just, Four. it changes the volume. Five. See, so I keep hitting those. That I don't, I, so I, Three. I'd like to just lock it so it can't, I can't do that. You can't. Those are the only negatives of this. So far, it's pretty accurate though. I'm digging it. All right, in my opinion, should you buy the SC4? It's 549 US dollars. I love the outdoor bright display. I mean, it's fantastic. They've always made solid, reliable launch monitors. This one is solid and reliable as well. We're getting accurate carry distances for the most part with everything. We're getting accurate swing speed. We're getting accurate ball speed. Okay, I don't think the spin rate is perfect, but they always have done firmware updates when they, you know, update and improve on some of that kind of stuff. So I think it's really close though. It's not like out of whack. I think we got one bad reading, but that was it. So far it's been fantastic and driver's been spot on with the carry distance. Everything else has been pretty spot on. 80 yards left. 
I want to carry this 80 yards. Can I do it? Now you want to get that like within like five, six feet of the ball. So you got to be pretty accurate with the setup, which is good. The more accurate you are with the setup, the more accurate the reading will be. If that is within two yards, then I would, I'll recommend buying the, uh, the SC4. 80 yards, here we go. It said 71. Shooting my ball on the green with the laser, 71. All right, there's the divot. So that should be 71. 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. I said two yards. It's right on the money. 71, 71. I probably should be better at 80 yards. But it was kind of a weird stance. So either way, Swing Caddy, SC4. I know, it's a pretty good little chunk of change, 549. If you're in the market, I think it's a pretty good deal. I'll leave a link in the video description just for you. Hope this was helpful, inside, outside, all around. Love you guys, see you next time.